Gary Hall Sr. at the Race Club with the always colorful Ryan Lochte. Ryan, it's great to have you here. Uh, thanks for having me. Hey, I got to start with a very simple question. All right. How tall are you? If I stand up, I'm 6'2". Yeah. And if you don't? Probably 5'11". <laughs> All right, so I want to dispel the myth that you have to be 6'5 or 6 to be a great swimmer. Right here, 6'2", when he's standing up. Most of the time around six feet, probably. Yeah, because I never stand up either. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's uh, go back and, and take the path from Beijing to London. All right. Uh, two years into it, in the middle, you come off a knee surgery, and everybody's thinking, oh, you know, what's going to happen to you? And you have maybe your best meet ever last summer. Um, what happened? What 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 did that? Um, honestly, um, I was out of the water after when I got my knee surgery. I was out of the water for seven months, and I was like, I gotta change something. Like I can't I can't work out. I couldn't do anything. So I was like, so I started eating healthier, and that's probably one of the biggest things that I did. I started eating healthier, and then once I was able to get back in the weight room and uh, back into swimming, um, I just started uh, being actually more focused into like the little things, like the um, stuff outside of the pool right. rather than in. I mean, we've always preached that nutrition is so critical and I don't think a lot of people realize, you know, we're, we're just surrounded by junk food and I even read an article about how you were eating McDonald's in Beijing, so oh, yeah. this is not an advertisement <laughs> for McDonald's, believe me. <laughs> So let's now move forward a little bit. Let's talk about London. You've got both IMs, you've got both backs, you've got the 200 free, you've got three relays, and a legitimate chance to win all of them. I mean, is that what Michael did in Beijing was like every star had to be aligned and everything had to go perfect? Does that kind of enter your mind or you think about it at all? Or are you trying Honestly, to? Honestly, um, I mean, we, we still have like a a year almost a year and a half out and i honestly have not thought about the olympics yet um they're in the back of my mind and i mean i love racing and whatever whether it's one or eight or nine like it doesn't matter like i'm just gonna go out there and race as many events as i can and like just hope for the best so um i mean what michael did in 08 is definitely incredible but it can be done, yeah. and it can be done by multiple people. So, let's talk about racing. I was talking to your dad today. You probably don't know the answer to this question, but he does. <laughs> and a lot of people don't realize how racing, how important racing is to being ready to swim fast. Oh yeah. Now you're in the heat of, of, of training right now. You're in the heaviest part of your training. Do you have any idea how many races you've had in the last one? Columbia, Indianapolis, Orlando. Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. How many races have you done? Do you have any idea? I'm taking a wild guess and saying at least 30. 37. 37, 37. races. There you go. <laughs> and this guy's dog tired, but he gets up and he races. Hated every second of the 200 fly this morning, and I oh. watched him, and I was hurt and lost him. <laughs> but he races, and that's what makes him a great swimmer. It's not just his work ethic, but he knows how important to get up and race. Because when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter about the time, it doesn't matter about that, all it matters about is racing. So the more racing you do, the better you're off. Well, that is so true. So you, you got to race. Uh, yep. Let's talk about one of your friends, just retired, Aaron Pearson. Yep. Um, it's got to make a little bit of a sigh for you, although you, you're not afraid of anybody, but Aaron was a great swimmer and a great guy. Tell us about your relationship. I mean, I'm definitely not afraid, but it's really sad to see such a a great uh, swimmer leave the sport. And uh, me and him definitely grew, grown a great relationship together, racing so many times. And I mean, he definitely brought something different to the sport, and which, I mean, I'm sure like, everyone can say like that's why they love about him and I mean he's just uh, a unique guy and to see him leave is kind of sad because he's he's he will definitely go down as one of the greatest backstrokers ever question you know he he reminded as you do a lot of Gary Jr. and they're very free-spirited so yeah. you know Gary um, like him or not, he brought a great amount of color to the, to the pool. And your dad was telling me about, you know, how 
important that is to sport a swimming. You bring color, you bring flair, you bring personality. I love the green high tops this uh -huh. summer. I don't know how the fashion line's going, but yeah. it's great that you are taking the baton from uh, Aaron, my son, and, and you're the, uh, the most colorful and, and the fastest swimmer out there. So we wish you well. Oh, thank you. I it's great to it. watch. It's fun to watch you swim. You're an inspiration to a lot of oh, people. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. Yep.